I found these flu game 12s on eBay and they're in desperate need for a restoration. They definitely need a deep cleaning. They need a reshape and a full repaint. Unfortunately, I couldn't save these laces, so the only thing that makes sense is to cut them out. <laughs> There's no insoles, and the sides are kind of dirty. This is what we ended up with. The shoe trees are really important in every single restoration. We can't go without them. In a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see it adds structure back. They're gonna get cleaned in the washing machine, but we first need to break down some of these stains. I'm using an all-purpose brush and some soap and water. There's crazy amounts of drag. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do here. At least the original owner got their money's worth. You can see how dirty this cloth turned out. For any delicate areas, I try to cover them with a microfiber towel and I put them in the laundry bag. I also add a little bit of detergent to the machine. Cold cycle, 15 to 30 minutes. So these are gonna dry outside and I'm just gonna make sure that they don't separate. So I'm covering the sides with a few rags. The shoes are dried, now it's time to take care of the creasing. Using an iron and a wet cloth, you can smoothen down the tongue and also the side lining. We don't wanna deal with any separation, so try to keep it simple. After removing the factory finish, we can repaint the entire shoe. The reds that they used are two different colors. The uppers ended up being 60% infrared, 30% red, and then 10% scarlet. When you're using your heat gun, you want to be a little careful. We don't want to cause any separation. On these beaters, the lining gets pretty dirty sometimes. I'm just gonna paint over it. I think it looks better this way. The secondary color ended up being around 60% scarlet and then 40% infrared. Painting on black literally takes like two coats. Before we spray on the finisher, I'm just going to clean up anything that I missed. To protect our paint job, we're using Krylon Matte Finisher. Two to three light coats is all you need. These are the laces we're going to use, and I'll link it down below if you're interested. This step is optional, but you could polish them using Tire Shine. It gives the leather a temporary shine. And that's all there is to this restoration. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know down below. Thank you guys for all your support, and I'll see you in the next one.